Uh, this video will be on my installation of the 2.9 kHz single sideband filter from International Radio Corps, the 726F model or number. Um, I looked at some other ones that uh, Yezu offered and uh, just checked out the reviews and uh, I, I, I felt that this was the better, the better option for my uh, FT-857 Delta. Um, so it came in the mail today. I'll probably be installing it tomorrow. Just wanted to get this video started. Um, there's instructions in the Yezu manual. It's my page 120. And the instructions are pretty, pretty straightforward. It tells you how to remove the screws, not to forget the speaker wire. It even, uh, even points to the seven screws that you got to take off to take the top cover off. Um, so anyway, we'll see how it goes tomorrow. It looks pretty straightforward. I watched a um, YouTube video on an after the fact uh, installation and um, the change or the um, the improvement is remarkable and hopefully I'll be getting the same types of uh, results. Well, I've decided to throw caution to the wind <clears throat> and just install this thing tonight, even though I'm a little tired. I've already removed the uh, seven screws, two on the right, two on the left, and two in the front, and two on the back. And uh, lift it up, and uh, the speaker wire, I don't, I don't really think I need to worry about taking that off. I'll just go ahead and set that there. Now the um, the slots where they go are on the back left, and there was the slot le is le um, excuse me level labeled filter one and filter two. We're going to put this in filter one. Um, there's some instructions that came rolled up in with the unit. It says to insert the filter assembly with the circuit board side down and the label facing you. So that's pretty straightforward. And um, <clears throat> you'll notice that when you uh, set this thing up, uh, one side has four pins and the other side has three. So here's three in the back and four in the front. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and pop this thing in. It looks pretty simple. And uh, it should drop if it's lined up properly. And it just pops right in like that, flush with the board. I don't see really how it could get any easier. Um, wow, that was pretty simple. I don't know much more to say about that. I'll go ahead and put it together. Put it back together. Um, This might be the hardest part of all. It's just getting the lid back on. Kind of fits in there, yeah. Put the top ends on, I guess, first. To sort of squish it down. The, uh, I can't tell if you can see that. Uh, I'm over here in uh, menu item uh, N, and 
and some of the um, reviews or YouTube that I've got, it does say 2.3 instead of uh, 2.9. I don't know if that's clear. We'll find out. But anyway, I've got, uh, I'm on the 10 meter. And uh, basically, you just push the B button to engage the uh, filter. Just wait for somebody to talk. Whiskey one alpha whiskey. It does seem to bring out the audio. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's a major difference. Thank you for the five by seven. Thanks for the QRZ. Yeah. Okay. Um, there's some other. There, there's also some settings that you can do for transmit. They're all in the magazine. I don't want to belabor this. This is very simple to install. It seems to be making a big difference. Um, 